Here's the deal, you guys. I am running out of time to film this video. So if you're watching it right now, it means I actually got it done. But the reality is I need to try to make a woven wall hanging in an hour or less which is a very daunting task in my mind because I like to weave and unweave and try different things. I don't like to just plow through a project, but today I'm going to attempt that. Let's start a timer and see if I can make a woven wall hanging in an hour or less. <sighs> I'm so nervous. I have no idea what this weaving is gonna be. So without further ado, let's begin in three, two, one, go. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find a color palette. So I'm going on to my Pinterest and I'm just gonna like start searching through and see if I can find a color palette. This might not be the, oh my gosh. I'm already stressing out. Um, ah! All right, materials. Let's find some wool roving. Am I already deviating? I kinda like, what if I did these? sort of pastel kind of colors. Those are fun. I just like don't have time to dig through everything to find something super specific. So we're already kind of scrapping my idea. I'm gonna go with these colors. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. Okay, think. What do I want this to be? What colors do I have? Okay, that one might work for the green. Um, and then something like a light blue. Let's just start. Let's start. We're gonna do this. Okay, so I have some colors and I'm just gonna get started weaving now. How big do we want this to be? We're gonna go, trying to get this warping tension right the first time around because I really don't have time to back up on this one. <laughs> this is gonna be very interesting, oh my gosh. I'm already thinking that I need to just basically use mostly merino wool roving to get this done um, because that's gonna be nice and chunky and help me to um, finish it a little quicker. Let's see if that's a good width for this dowel. That looks great. Okay, even enough. I'm eight minutes in already. This is crazy. What was I thinking? Need some cardstock in the bottom of this. So let's get that in there. Then we're gonna need, oh my gosh, where's my yarn? Of course I already messed up. I did some twining and plain weave and I decided to go with a seven millimeter cotton rope for the fringe. I love this for fringe because it is nice and thick and you only need one strand per group of your fringe. I'm already questioning this color palette. I don't know if I love it. At this point, I just decided I needed to just like start. So I put some merino roving on there and then quickly realized, what if I just used the same stitch throughout the whole piece? That would probably save me a lot of time, a lot of indecision, and I just went with it. I definitely took the time to put some plain weave between these rows of the, the chunky merino wool roving because I knew that I was going to need that structure, especially if I was gonna use almost exclusively merino wool roving in this piece. By the time I was at the top of the weaving, I had about 16 minutes left and I was starting to really panic. Like I thought I was panicked before, but at this point I was even more panicked and I was just frantically trying to finish this thing, getting that plain weave at the top, the twining stitch, and then I flipped it over and was just like, how fast can I tuck in these ends? And to my surprise, I got all those ends tucked in. I got most of the way done at the very bottom, the back, getting those warp strings tucked in and then, ah! Oh, The alarm went off. I was so close. I was so close. Oh my gosh. I'm almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a stopwatch on and see how much more time it takes me, but okay. Let's do it. Let's see how much more time I needed.
Okay, I'm done. I'm done. What's it at? <sighs> One hour, seven minutes, and 46 seconds. I did it. I, I like actually kind of can't believe I actually did that. Oh my gosh, I need... <laughs> It's like coffee time right now, but I'm like kind of feeling like a glass of wine or something would feel a little bit better right now. I mean, I failed, but at the same time, I like literally kind of can't believe I made that in just over an hour. Pretty good, right? But I will say a challenge like this really pushes you to stop questioning yourself so much. It forces you to just make those decisions and get going and and don't hum and haw about it, just go for it. But this was a fun exercise just to see if I could do it and have it not look like complete chaos. Can I weave a woven wall hanging in an hour? Not quite. But an hour, seven minutes and 47 seconds? Yes, I can. I'm very proud of what we accomplished here today. Check out this video next. I think you're gonna enjoy it.